And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are, as promised, here on Cloud Kingdom. And our first player to go off Group B today is your pink Zerg, spawning down the bottom left-hand corner, representing my insanity. My insanity, Penguin. And his opponent already changed it up with the build orders, not necessarily mirror matchup as you would normally expect. It is your red Zerg player in the top right of Cloud Kingdom. Solus Soldier Victus. So Soldier Victus going for that spawning pool first uh, mm -hmm. into hatch. Uh, is that a little safer generally? Uh, it's a little bit more safe, uh, obviously, because you get the spawning pool up a bit earlier. 15 hats can hold off just about anything, but it uh, sometimes you have to sacrifice the hatch for it, and it comes down to work a micro of other time. But Soldier Victus going. Um, pool hatch gas which uh means he's not intending to be gen generally would mean he's not intending to be super aggressive but he'll be pretty safe he should be able to uh get speed up much much faster than penguin because penguin actually i think is going for a gaslit expand which should be pretty nice on uh cloud kingdom one of the facts i was talking about earlier with how close that choke in the natural is to the hatchery to the ramp means that you can spread creep there very very quickly it only takes one creep tumor to get your creep up at your choke and start building a wall off and start um start being defensive and that that gasless economy is gonna really really mean the penguin has a lot more drones it's already paying off a little bit he's got a slight drone advantage so it's it's nice gasless is pretty good it's been sort of in and out of the meta recently and it's sort of stabilized down a bit yeah, so we do have speed uh, on the way for Soldier Victor, so, um, you know, slight variations coming into these builds, and that's kind of nice to see. Uh, and he does throw it out a Baneling Nest, uh, so we are going to see some Banelings mm -hmm. out in the field of play probably pretty soon here, maybe more for a couple in defensively to see what's going on. I want to see if Penguin... Okay, now he's going to go ahead and take two Extractors. I wanted to see how he gone uh, mm -hmm. three Hatch before Gas. I don't know how valuable that is, but on Cloud Kingdom, it is, uh, you know, like you have these chokes uh, in front of at least the natural, and... Um, we've seen a lot of engagements, at least in this Challenger League, where the, it, on Cloud Kingdom, it's been won and lost in those little ramps up into the third and the second. And it seems like if you can handle those ramps, like you can, you can pretty much win most engagements against a lot of odds. And we saw one TVZ yeah. in which the Zerg really threw it with Roaches against basically a bio, I think is what the play was. It might have been, been a Protoss, but regardless, those ramps are super key when you're defending. Yeah, and uh, anything you can do to narrow down those chokes really helps, especially against melee units. And of course, Lings and Banes, the staple of the early game ZBZ, are both melee units. And Penguin is going to take full advantage of that by walling off across the front of his natural, meaning that he can sustain his big drone advantage without really or really having to commit too much to any units to defend it. Uh, it all depends really how much Soldier Victor scouts this. And uh, yeah, I th he's, he's had a good scout. He had a look around. He knows that it's not a. It's it's been a gasless expand, so I'm interested to see where he goes from this. It looks like he's going for a fast lair, uh, but I don't know what he's gonna where he's gonna go after that because he doesn't have any roaches for a roach speed timing or anything, and he's not started to take any gases yet to go to mucilus. So this is a little bit interesting. I'm throwing down a roach around now. Uh, maybe he's just gonna go for uh, much faster speed on his roaches. It seems like Penguin uh, has won a little bit of the. Um, build order up into this point. He yeah. didn't make any of the early game defenses. He skipped the bailing nest. He, he skipped speed um, mm -hmm. entirely. And uh, so he's using his gas for early roaches, early evo chambers, and now as you see early upgrades, his 1-1 one, one, uh, missile attacks and, and armor is about to finish for him in yeah. about um, 100 or so seconds. And uh, he, so he skipped that. Of course, he's going right into lair. Um, both he's uh, actually a little later on layer from Soldier Victus, but it seems like he was able to get out ahead now at least 21 supply based on an early build order win. Yeah, because of that gasless uh, expand goes really well into just straight up going for roaches because you don't really have to commit as heavily to uh, to bane links to speed to try and defend any kind of push from your opponents. You just sort of are safe behind queens. Oh, and do you see that what this he's is, doing right now? This is interesting. This is definitely deliberate because he's he's started he's added units to it, but. I'm not sure. Maybe he, maybe he just couldn't get his roaches. Okay, out. so he, he he's gonna he's already made a second roach warren on the way, 
and he could get his units out. So instead of taking down his Evo chambers, he's elected to take out his Roach Worm because the tech building, once you get it, you can automatically start making the Roaches again. But if you yeah. take yourself back on the upgrades, that cancels all the time he spent investing in it and he needed his Roaches out. Um, so that's a little a little slip up from Penguin. He walled himself completely in there and uh, you never want to have to really delete. You know, he remade it and he's in in the end not too far behind, but it's just funny. That's, that's just a little, you know, he, he'll still probably be, you know, just fine. But of course, you never want to have to delete a tech building like that. No, it's not ideal. Uh, it shouldn't matter too much because yeah. he could just Zerg lava production means he could just bank up lava while he wasn't able to use roaches, and now he's going to be uh, back up where he would have been again once these twelve roaches finished. But uh, both players going up towards third bases now. Um, we've completely skipped over that really volatile stage of yeah. CBZ. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Going into much more sort of econ wars now with roach versus roach, and Soldier Victus has got his third up a little bit faster which is pretty nice, and I would have liked to see him get it up super, super fast. He's trying to do a little bit, little bit of Ling Run, but it won't really have any effect against the, all these roaches Penguin has positioned as third. Um, yeah, I would have liked to see him do a really, really fast third, because when you see your opponent do a gaseous expand, you know there's almost no pressure they can apply on the map um, right. without committing to a really, really heavy, slow link, speed link all in. And you'll be able to poke and prod at their slow links with your speed links, and you should have bane links up way before they can dream about getting bane links as well. So it's it, you, you really become able to take like a three or four minute third uh, against an opponent who's doing gas expand. And Penguin's sort of gotten away with it, so he's very much so by this point. And uh, yeah, as you said, he's he's definitely secured a bit of a build order advantage, and his upgrades are much yeah. much better. Yeah, well, he's he's one ahead, and he's of course in the in the armor. He's one ahead, and he's quicker. So that's going to come down to it, especially in Roach v Roach. You know, Soldier Victus is going to have to survive until three three at least equalizes because you know Roach engagements upgrades are so well, key. Um, and he's probably uh, going to have to be. He's making a proxy hatchet his third. One thing I want to address really quickly is is creep spread in TVT. A lot of people choose not necessarily to do it, and of course, it's not as big a deal because. Um, you're giving your opponent the advantages that you have as well. But to me, it's always seemed like the, one of the more important factors of creep is not necessarily just the speed, but the vision it, it allows mm. you. And um, the engagements are really what, what it comes down to in Roach v. Roach. So why wouldn't you go ahead and, and commit to a lot of uh, as much creep as you could without sacrificing too much of your economy, of course? Well, because it does, it, as we were saying, it advantages your opponent as well as you. So yeah. if, you, if you feel like you want to play a bit more defensively, it may well oddly not be an idea to sacrifice that vision for you know your opponent not being able to uh, reinforce quicker and uh, you're sort of strengthening your opponent's push as well. Penguin's going for borrow move on his roaches so this is really cool as well as of course borrow. Uh, so he's going to be likely sending borrow roach hit squads all over the place and uh, Soldier Victor is trying to take advantage of his link speed. It's actually going to get a little run by into the main, which could do a bit of damage before the roaches arrive to clean it up. So that's yeah, let's nice see thing. how many links get right in the main. They're going to get a surround in this queen. I don't know if I like the targeting of the queen. I probably would have gone for the you know drones, but is he even going to be able to pick up the queen? It looks like all the links are going to get uh, taken out, and so no, the queen he's... survives. Eesh. Yeah. Oh. Holy just, cow, the just, queen survives down to seven health, it seemed like that. And But the good thing about that Ling run by is he does confirm that there are Hydras if he didn't already. Yeah. Um, so he knows that Hydras are on the way. Uh, and we do see Bane Speed as the response for Soldier Victus. So we have one guy going Roach Hydra and the other one uh, probably going Roach uh, Bane because he's making more Zerglings. And now here's a put force pushing out for Soldier Victus. He likes what he sees, apparently. Uh, and he has a 10 yeah, supply lead right now. Uh, and how, many mo how much more Roaches does he have? Does he have an advantage in the Roach count? Uh, uh, oh yeah, Soldier Victus he does. Yeah, a huge so, advantage in the Roach count. The hydrons are going to be what comes down to it, and of course the upgrades two one to two two on those roaches. So we'll see if an engagement is had. A currently, Soldier Victus pulling back, and this game has kind of settled down, and both are really comfortable. Now the banelings are coming in, and where do you see this going? Uh, I'm not so sure. I think uh, Penguin wants to be a little bit defensive at the minute. He can't really attack into this army. Soldier Victus is gonna oh, actually he might. Oh, unfortunately he's out of position. So this little burrow roach. Play uh, I is gonna get through, but oh my god, it can trade so many banelings. I though. think that yeah. was actually even worth it for Penguin. Yeah, uh, a lot of gas. banelings on roaches actually cost the same amount of gas, and roaches yeah. only cost about uh, yeah twenty five more minerals. So they're very very close in terms of how much they cost. Soldier Victor is producing a lot of links. He's gonna have a huge uh, baneling swell and gonna try and bust through the roaches, the hydras that way. And he does have a... I feel like he has a stronger army, but Penguin has a nice concave up this round, although his hydra's a little bit forward at the front. And 
yeah, both players have equalized their upgrades on 2-2. Two, two. Because, of course, Hive is that big barrier for Zerg for 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, and it's the, just on the um, way now for both of them. Yeah, both of them have started out roughly evenly. But here we get, here we see the big swell of Banelings coming from Soldier Vectors. 23, not the hugest number ever. But I don't know. I think it could well be enough to bust through certainly a, a flank or the middle of this uh, army thing. Yeah, but we do see minute, Burrowed Roaches. About defending home. Yeah, we do see Burrowed Roaches making their way to the fourth, or the third, rather, of Soldier Victus. And, and, you know, getting some damage on, get, taking off two queens, but not really going for the heart of the drones there. As these Banelings with Baneling Speed are rolling right across. And, well, there's a Zerg, uh, the creep coming into play for them. They are going to get picked up uh, by what appears to be Lings in the middle of the map, and a couple of go off, or those are Roaches, rather. So the Banelings going down on all the Roaches in the cap. And were they worth the trade and gas? I don't know. Uh, Soldier Victus has a really good concave here at the top of the ramp. Penguin pushing up, trying to make an engagement happen, but, you know, rightfully knows that that's not the best place to take any engagement. Turns around. Hydra's in the front of this army, not doing too well. Soldier Victus is going to split, and now he pushes the engagement advantage. He thinks he's got it, so he's pushing in. Penguin's supply seems to be plummeting, and all the Hydra's are gone, essentially. Yeah, bit of a sloppy engagement from Penguin. He took a good trade against those Banelings, but then uh, tried to dive too hard, and Soldier Victus uh, saw an opportunity and absolutely went for it, straight to the throat, and Penguin... Penguin is not looking in the best position, but actually he's got some rotary reinforcements that should be able to at least whittle down this army uh, for Soldier yeah, Victor, but these so that when the next are... wave of reinforcements come in, uh, I think he can take it. Yeah, here we go, 123 to 189 to fly, now he's pushing at the third, and if he loses his third, that's almost game over. You can't go against four base Zerg against, the, you know, just even if you don't have the Econ in terms of larva production to make it into the late game, he does lose the third, he's not going to be able to risk it. Now he's getting he, taken on both sides, the flanks are real, more links coming in, and GG is called, Soldier Victor's taking All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We're going to get right into it. Of course, this is the second match of this ZVZ series to start the night off, and one player needs to win to get the tie back uh, and include his chances to get back right into that playoff spot. It is your pink Zerg. My insanity, Penguin. And his opponent up in the top right hand corner, up 1 0 in this series, looking to advance one more to in, go into our winner's match. It is. Solus Soldier Victus. Yeah, taking game one. Uh Fairly handily, it was a pretty long game on Cloud Kingdom, and I think Cloud Kingdom uh, probably lends itself to that, maybe a little more than Overgrowth does. The, the yeah. ZBZs I've casted on Overgrowth tend to be a little bit more fast-paced, and, uh, well, I think we see a little bit of a change-up from Penguin already. He went pool first, uh, and he's going to go ahead and get Ling speed. So, uh, changing it up, not, not happy with the way things went last game, and already making adjustments to his style. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, getting that link speed allows for a lot more aggressive opportunities in the early game. Um, and he's going for six links as well. It's quite a heavy commitment, so he's definitely looking to get some kind of damage done here. Uh, the question is whether he will he'll be able to or not, and I don't think he will. Soldier Victus, uh, he has a queen now. He's getting another one, and he has four links of his own. So I don't think there's much that Pengel will be able to do. He... Where's the links? Yeah, okay, he's actually saving them back, so... That's kind of interesting. What's to drive away this Overlord? And I just want to uh, say that this is the guy. most exciting part of StarCraft 2 is when you watch a queen off creep trying to kill an Overlord. It doesn't get much more micro-intensive than that. Uh, yeah. No, you're right. It's, uh, <laughs> I just find it depressing how you watch queens go off creep and they chase down an Overlord and they chase down the Overlord <laughs> because Overlords are so slow <laughs> and they slower. have their speed buffed once. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Penguin's producing a big swell of links to to stop talking about the, how stupidly slow overlords are. Uh, Penguin is definitely going for some kind of uh, aggressive maneuver. His speed finishing up is just about in sync, but Soldier Rick just has a nice little uh, bit of Sim City going down his natural uh, with the Bane Nest and the spine crawler all blocking and here we see the move out from Penguin. I'm pretty sure Soldier Victor saw that. He had two overlords in position, so he definitely should have. And yes, Soldier Victor 
He isn't actually responding to it yet. No. Oh, he doesn't have his Bane nest. He's trying to move his queens into position. And there's some pretty good positions on the screen. Protecting the spine crawler very, very nicely, as well as having. Uh, actually, yeah, he can just go straight for the main. There's nothing stopping him doing that. And get fighting an excellent surround on all the drones. Two of them going to go down immediately, killing off a lot of the legs, killing off a few queens as well. Fighting out of range of that spine crawler as much as he can. And now he's getting straight into the drone line in the main, and a lot of drones are going to go down there. Oh, this looks really bad for Soldier Victus. And you know what? He's going to do his best here. He's going to have to micro his drones. I guess it's never the best idea, but now he pulls and he's going to run. And man, it looks like Penguin's going to go ahead and probably take game two. Now more speedlings on the way for Soldier Victus to finally dissuade. Uh, further aggression from Penguin, and uh, he's got speed finished up just now, so you know he's going to be able to dissuade them from further uh, aggression. But uh, you know, too little, too late for that one, because that went heavily in the favor of Penguin. Yeah, Soldier Victor got reduced down to seven workers, and that total workers killed 16 in favor of Penguin. And um, Soldier Victor really sort of has to make something work with. Yeah. Yeah, with he what he has now with his links, he has to do a lot of damage to Penguin. And Penguin has Banelings ready. He has. Uh, oh, they're waiting at the top of the ramp. The way they're waiting oh, the top God. Of the ramp. And bang, bang! That is. Jesus it. Christ. GG. <laughs> Soul Directors. Uh, oh, my Penguin God. Time to score up on. Oh, are we live? <laughs> Welcome back. It is Aklon Wastes. Um, and it's going to be, of course, uh, the third game of this ZVZ series. And we're going to get right into the player introduction. Spawning in the top left corner, uh, tied up on overgrowth in a really exciting and intense uh, micro intensive battle there. It is, of course, your Pink Zerg player. My insanity, Penguin. And his opponent fighting to advance on from this game. It is. Solus Soldier Victus. Yeah, these two trying to get into the winner's match, of course, yep. and, um, uh, you know, an option to get into the playoffs. So, uh, you know, the sooner you can do that, the better. And, uh, you know, if uh, you have an early night in these nights, it seems to be. Of course, a better option because if you're not, you're gonna have to go into the constellation match, and that means you're gonna have to play three series of StarCraft over a long period of time. And yeah. I feel like that's the that's the marathon version of events if you want to go that route. Yeah, especially if you're like Penguins on Swiss time, so he's I think an hour ahead of me even. So right now it's Ooh. 5 a.m. and he could be playing till like uh, 6 or 7 a.m. Yeah. Um, if he goes onto that that long, like having to play three games. So uh, both players actually got Lings into their opponent's main, and neither of them got really much damage done with them. Soldier Victor's actually losing one to Penguin's Queen. But I'd expect both of these links to... Oh, actually, these are Penguins? No, they shouldn't be able to get done. Maybe they have speed. I always assume uh, slow links are much more dangerous because uh, <laughs> used to links with speed most of the time. Oh, they are going to get a drone. drone. That's well, nice. Though. And anytime you get a drone, it's it's good, especially if you're just trading one link for one drone. That's a that's of course a great pickup in the early yeah, game. I wish I could any, do that all the time. Yeah, <laughs> any any sort of advantage you can gain in the in the early um, is good. Uh, we do have a bailing nest going down for both players. Soldier Victus is a little later, um, and so at this point in the game, it really comes down to what corners you decide to cut by way of not making a spine crawler, maybe, or maybe going for a quicker speed. Um, you know how so much quicker your lair is going to be. Uh, and, you know, ZVZ tends to be a really topsy-turvy into into the mid-game. Yeah, and I think Penguin's going to go for Mutalisks there. He's uh, he's going for very, very fast there. He's going for two base, two base Mutalisks, isn't he? Uh, yeah, much more... Com it, that's yeah. pretty standard in ZVZ. Uh, you generally don't see three base Mutalisks. Like, you won't, don't see fast three bases unless you're right. one person's doing a gas list and the other person's responding to it with macro. Right. Um, yeah, this is, this is sort of what typifies... Uh, um, useless in ZVZ is uh, two bases. They start their lair with 
usually they're like somewhere within their first 300, three or 400 gas, and then uh, they take the rest of their four extractors very shortly after putting their yeah. down. So Penguin's banked up enough uh, gas for his spire. There it goes down, and we're going to see him continually banking gas uh, until he finishes his spire. Uh, Sword of Victus is sending an overlord in to yeah. scout this. I was just so about to he, see that. Uh, I'm not sure whether he'll, he'll actually be able to see the spire because Penguin has cleverly put it sort of on the opposite side from where that would normally be scouted. But he will see the gas. It's whether he sees the gas in the natural is a bit more to tell because the timing on those and them being take, having been taken so early is almost as much to tell as seeing the spire, really. So the thing is, the thing with the Mutalist play is uh, Penguin will be banking so much, so many resources that he'll be very, very weak to any kind of timing that hit before that. Luckily for him, though, it doesn't look like Soldervix is uh, gearing up for that, but instead gearing up for Mutalist of his own. And since Penguin is so much earlier, this puts him in really good stead. Yeah, it's going to be in his uh, stead if he is able to seize the advantage before Soldier Victus' Aspire finishes. Because, of course, um, if it, t it turns out that Soldier Victus was joining a little bit more uh, behind this. And I'm going to go ahead and check the unit count to see if that's the case. No, he's actually down five oh, workers. So, actually, yeah, he's yeah. Down so you're right. And this is looking like to be a little bit of an advantage for Penguin. Um, if he can get out of this supply block, of course, three Overlords about to pop for him and get him right out of there. And the Mutas are out, and he's, of course, researching um, Flying Armor. Ooh. Um, level one. So, what you you sound excited? What's the call? Yeah, flying army is really good. I don't know why exactly what prompted Penguin to go for that, but that's going to be fantastic in the Muta versus Muta battles because, of course, Mutalisks doing their bounce attack, they hit three times, uh, and the Flyer Carapace will take one damage off every single one of those bounces, which is much much bigger than the attack upgrade. Oh my god! And Soldier Victor suicides two billions into rocks. Um, anyway, um, yeah, it's much, much bigger than the attack upgrades because the attack upgrades uh, adds one to the first hit, 0.6 to the 0.6 going to the second hit, and 0.3 going to the third hit. So it really doesn't do that much. And yes, non-integer attack values do exist. Uh, Sword of Victor's trying to go for a bit of a ling run by, and unfortunately, not really getting that much done. Whereas Penguin can start moving out on the map with his muters, he can secure solid map control. He will be ahead in the mutilus count pretty much indefinitely unless he, until he makes a slip up, uh, starts sniping a lot of Soldier Victus overlords and he will have to replace every single one of these. This is a really costly loss of Soldier Yeah, Victus. and it is pretty bad. Soldier Victus uh, going for the plus one attack, so you know a little bit blind here and of course he's going to pay for it as you're discussing about the armor. Um, and that's pretty, you know, really specific stuff. It depends with mutas that sometimes where you take the fight, and of course, um, if you take it, you know, like over a spore crawler or over queens, you know, you can lose mutas, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. and sometimes the upgrades aren't going to really make a difference. So um, spores are going down for uh, Soldier Victus, and of course, we do have a third getting taken as these lings here in the middle of the field are going to duke it out, and Penguin's just got ling numbers. He doesn't have, uh, you know, he's going to surround these queens, and Ooh. with the mutas getting in here, this is going to be really tough for Soldier Victus to, hurl, to hold 94 supply to 74 supply. We're going to see where this goes. He might be able to push the advantage and just win it here. Yeah, Penguin has taken down all of Soldier Victor's mutas. There's no one green that's left for anti-air, but that falls as well. And GG, Penguin absolutely dominates.